Hello everyone, so this is just a short video showing off the script I talked about in my blog post uh, regarding uh, the script I made to essentially export all detection method scripts, well PowerShell scripts more precisely uh, used on applications. So let's say you have an application and you're using a detection method as a, with a PowerShell script. Uh, this script will uh, take the detection method script, put that into a, f uh, a file, and then name the file after the application name. So it could be easily, yeah, you can easily find out what it is. Uh, the reason for this was that uh, me the other day I was I was supposed to do a detection method script and then I realized, oh, I think I wrote something similar before, but I couldn't remember <laughs> at all which application it was for. Uh, so, yeah, with my bad memory, I just tried to, oh, can I solve this another way? So I just wrote a PowerShell script for it instead. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to show off the script. Uh, let's see if I go to my lab over here. So, first of all, uh, quickly, just site path standard when you want to do searches against uh, SCCM, uh, whatever your site name is, site name and colon, that's all it needs. Site server, uh, in this case, if you're running it on the local, local site server, you can do local host as well, but I'm just going to do SCCM1. Uh, SCCM module, where the actually configuration manager uh, module is resides uh, in my case is on the D drive and then also the file path here is where do you want th th the files to be exported to uh, remember for each application you have who has a detection method as a PowerShell script it will output one file name the file after the application and then input the actual uh, script inside the file so I'm just gonna show it off here when we run it. Uh, in this environment, this is my test environment, so I only have one application with a detection metro script, so we, we just get one file, but you will see how it works here. So let's run this. It's done. Let's go to the file or the folder where we put it. So as you can see, uh, we have a file here called Google Chrome. So it picked up that uh, we had one application called Google Chrome who had a PowerShell detection metro script. Uh, if we open this up, we can see I just made it get help, bad memory, because that's exactly what I need. Help with bad memory. Uh, if we go into uh, the configuration manager console, I will just show you that if we go to properties on the Google Chrome application and deployment types, edit, and we go to detection method. And then to edit, you can see that this is the actual actual information that was in the detection method script. So we got all the information that was based here in detection method, and we got the name of the application. So yeah, this was just a short video showing off how it works. I hope this was uh, somewhat helpful for you. So uh, let me know if there's anything else you need, and I will talk to you soon. Great, bye.